Today we are going to discuss the Spence Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First place to discuss for Spence, starting in England and then we'll get into Scotland. So this is Sable, a fess embattled Argent for Spence of London and of Wigginale and Pargrave in Norfolk. You had William Spence and Thomas Spence, who were sons of William Spence of Pargrove, who died in 1503. And it looks like they further descended from Thomas Spence of Wigginall. Same coat of arms with the crest. This is for Spence of Nayland, Linfield, and South Mailing in Sussex, or South Malling in Sussex. John Spence of South Malling in Ledbury Manor died in 1741, was son of John Spence of Malling and son of John Spence of Linfield in Sussex. Ultimately, they descended from a Robert Spence, who died in 1618 and was of London and Stratford Bow in Middlesex. Another with a different crest for Spence of Balcombe in Sussex. There was Robert Spence, John Spence, Aubrey Spence, Edward Spence. And I have a note here that says William Spence was Sheriff of Sussex in 1663 and John Spence was Sheriff in 1663 as well. It looks like, or perhaps I got the year wrong there. But I wasn't able to ascertain exactly uh, which member of the Spences of Balcombe the crest was granted to. Next, another with a similar crest. And then we get to Azure, three penny yard pence proper for Spence of Hang West in County Yorkshire. The family assumed this as their armorial bearing around the year 1638 or earlier. There was Ralph Spence, gentleman. There was Simon Spence, gentleman, who lived in 1807. And there was Thomas Spence, who died in 1501, who held land in Yorkshire and had son and heir Henry Spence. Now another source records their coat of arms as Sable Three Millstones Argent. It's likely a mistranslation. Chevron between three cotton hanks. This is for Richard Spence of Kent. So live around the year 1408. Spence of Yorkshire, spelled S-P-E-N-S-E. -E. Sable of Chevron Ermine between three hares heads, erased, Argent and Ghouls. Another for James Spence, Esquire, who died in 1893. He was a manag managing director of the Bank of Liverpool. Argent and Lion Kuchik Ghouls and Chief Three Mullets of the Last Crest of Lion's Head Erased Paletti. This was registered in 1729 to Sarah Spence, daughter of George Spence of Coombe, Dublin, Ireland, and wife of Daniel Faulkner. Another for Spence of Berryhole in County Fife, Scotland. Alexander Spence, born 1661, was a solicitor and writer and had eight children. There was also Gawain or Gavin Spence, who died in 1709 and was a Bailey in Newburgh, son of John Spence and son of William Spence of Grange of Lindors. Spence of Lathlin in Fife, Scotland. This was listed in a 16th century document. It's an older coat of arms associated with the family. There was William Spence, who died in 1432. There was Robert Spence of Lathlin, who died around the year 1474, who was son of Alexander Spence and the father of John Spence. Spence of Brunstain Hill in Aberdeen. John Spence of Brunstain was an officer of arms, as was Jerome or Hiram Spence, officer of arms for both in the 17th century. Not sure which member of the family this was granted to. But those were two members of this branch. Another for Spence of Lathlin and Fife. His arms was registered in 1764. Now at this time, there was Nathaniel Spence, born around the year 1645, was second son of Thomas Spence. 
His great grandson was Nathaniel Spence of Craigzan Cure, who died in 1815. That family will be discussed later. So we have the coat of arms of George Spence, Esquire of Queen Square in Bloomsbury, alive in the year 1826. Spence of Warmiston or Wolmerston in Fife, feudal barony first recognized in 1379. First seated at Castle Crail and later at Warmiston House, Alexander Spence, Constable of Crail, was son of Stephen Spence. And later there was Sir James Spence, born 1571. He was an ambassador for King James I of Great Britain to the King of Sweden. He became a Swedish baron and he was the son of David Spence. Another, another for James Spence Eden, of Edinburgh, Scotland, a writer, 1672. David Spence, merchant of Edinburgh, 1672. Spence of Stonelaw and Lanark, General John Spence of Stonelaw, was provost for Ruther Glen in the late 1790s. He was son of John Spence and possibly a descendant of David Spence, who was elected commissioner in 1587 to the Parliament of Scotland. Spence of Ker Bister in the Orkney Islands. There was James Spence, born 1721, town clerk of Kirkwall, great grandson of Patrick Spence, merchant of Kirkwall. Spence of Cragzan Cure and Fife, as recorded in 1780. The family owned the estate between 1385 and 1524, and it was repurchased in 1792 by Dr. Nathaniel Spence, who later became president of the Royal College of Physicians and was second son of Thomas Spence, the 15th Laird of Lathlin. Here we see... Dr. Nathaniel Spence, he was also a member of an um, archery association. And here we see the family estate. Spence of Shetland, the progenitor of this family was William Spence, who inherited land in 1506 and had son and heir Henry Spence of Hooland, that should be an H, not a G, who was succeeded by his son, William Spence, who it says witnessed a charter in Norway in 1583. Spence of Shetland, granted in 1788. John Spence, born 1520, of Condy. He was advocate to Mary, Queen of Scots, and the son of James Spence of Condy. Freddie and on a cheap dance set, Three Roses. This was found on the seal of Hugh Spence of Scotland, alive in the year 1444. Spence of Aberdeen, which predates the year 1680. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.